Hello guys, let's continue. Now, to remove all the ratchet straps and clamps is just like opening a present for Christmas. see the shape is a little bit warped I later try to fix this but once it is dried there's completely no way to change it here I use the jigsaw cutter to cut it out I use the jigsaw cutter because it's just way too convenient you could use a handsaw but looking at the shape of the shield I wouldn't recommend it with all the curves and the bends Here I am already soaking the rawhide uh, shield edge. It'll take about one day to be fully soaked. So that's why I'm already doing it. To determine how much shield edge I was required, I used the A squared plus B squared equals C squared formula. Because I was not 100% content with the shape uh, of the shield, I uh, am now altering the shape a little bit. Looking fine, now on to the next step. The fabric I'm using here is linen. You could use canvas, but linen is uh, way better than canvas in terms of historical accuracy and also rigidity. To apply the linen without the help of another person, I use clamps to clamp down one end, spray underneath the other end, then I remove the clamps, put them on the other side that has been sprayed, and then spray the end that uh, initially had the clamps. Do make sure the glue covers all of the shield and that there are no dry areas in between. That's why I'm also using the spray glue right here. And whilst applying the linen, make sure there are no air bubbles underneath. Now to make sure the excess is glued onto the other side of the shield. Cutting away all the redundant bits.
to add linen on the back side. First make sure it is centered enough. Then start from the middle and then go outward. Make sure the sides as well are very well glued because later on I will drill right through the edge and if the linen is not fastened enough to the shield it will tangle around the drill bit. Now to paint it, I am painting it before I applied the shield edge and that's just because it's a faster way of working. Now I've noticed some air bubbles have formed, so now I'm making myself a little spatula and I'm forcing the air out, pulling the linen tight again towards the edge and then letting it dry further. Even with other types of glue and with more time in between having it glued and then painting it, I always encounter this type of problem. You could counter this by having the clamps still in place and then gluing it. Some finishing touches and then I'm going to leave it to dry overnight. <laughs> 